Ah, can you hear it? Sound of a gas auger first thing in the morning. Nothing like the sound of a gas auger on the ice first thing in the morning. More and more we're not hearing that though as a lot of uh, companies are going to electric power. Like all tools in your household, everything's going to battery power. Battery technology is getting better, lasting longer, more powerful. A lot of benefits to these are quiet for one thing, uh, easy to deploy, no more gas, just simply but push a button to start them. They have reverse as well. A lot of the companies in the game right now, and there's maybe five or six of them, they're all promoting speed as the uh, best feature. But is it really speed? I don't think so. Maybe reliability, local service, uh, battery life, speed is certainly there, price. So the features and benefits of electric go a long way. So what is it that you would want out of the electric auger? What are your priorities? Let's take a look at a few and see how they compare. Of all the manufacturers introducing products into this market, there are really only three or four that have made an impact so far. Ion was the first well-distributed product that gained a reputation for reliability. StrikeMaster, one of the pioneers in gas-powered augers, introduced their first lithium-ion product in 2014. Reviews on their latest product, distributed by Rapella, have been excellent. Trophy Strike of Colorado introduced the first 120-volt lithium-ion product in 2016. The product is well distributed with good reviews. Jiffy, another pioneer in the gas auger market, introduced their new lithium product in 2017. All of these products come with one battery, battery charger, blade cover, and optional extensions. All four of these manufacturers offer both 8 and 10 inch drill models. Some offer both chipper and shaver blades. Strikemaster used their trademark laser blade and Jiffy uses their proprietary ripper blades. If weight is a consideration, probably all of the units are gonna weigh approximately the same. The only difference is going to be whether it's an eight or a 10 inch drill itself. All of the weight is actually in the drill and of course in the battery, but it's, differences in the battery are pretty nominal. All of the augers that we compared in the eight inch category weighed approximately the same between 22 and 24 pounds. There is a difference in the shaft lengths in some where the ion is a 34 and the trophy strike is a 35. So weight is approximately the same as newer gas models. If speed is a priority, there are several factors that will increase or decrease cutting time. If you've watched any of the competitive auger war videos to determine who can drill the most holes, as I am in this video, they push down on the auger as hard as they can. If you did this during actual use, you would ruin your blades, the shaft, and of course reduce your battery life dramatically. Sharp blades by far are the most important issue for drill speed. Of course, speed is important, particularly if you're running and gunning and drilling a lot of holes, or if you're a guide. But when we asked a lot of ardent ice anglers how important speed was, really wasn't that big a priority. Battery life and reliability dominated the priorities, followed by price and weight. Local service and warranty didn't even seem to be an issue. This may have to do with the incredible high reliability rates of battery base tools. Everything from hand drills to lawnmowers are converting, not to mention cars. The latest lithium-ion batteries cycle life is much longer now, typically between three and five years or a thousand charge cycles. Warranty varies between manufacturers, both for the power head and the battery. Trophy strike is three years longer than average on the power head, but only one year on the battery. Demand has kept the average selling price very firm, but inexpensive alternative solutions could drive these prices down. This drill conversion kit from Clam allows you to use your household drill, a hand auger, bit, and the recreational angler can be out there drilling holes for under $300. So that's our comparison. As you can see, there's not a lot of difference between all the various models that are available today. Pound here in weight, a couple more holes on one model over the other hole. All the reviews we're getting from these, uh, from the anglers out on the ice that have been using these for the last couple of years, have been very good, they've been very reliable. Fully expect that they're going to be the same as the tools, the household tools that we're using every day. So 
That said, sorry I can't get, make a recommendation, but they all seem to be pretty good. Just remember, keep your blades sharp and stay safe.